Hey guys, let me set the foundation for you here. This course is the sequel to our advanced P6 schedule building course. We're going to take that project and progress it and work with it here. What I'm going to show you today is going to revolutionize how you are set up to execute a project. The problem with P6 is it's really a dump and go system. And after a while, we don't know what's what. So we're gonna change that. We're gonna make sure that we set up a proper EPS structure so that when we go looking for the project that we want, it's easy to find. Not only that, you'll feel more organized, you'll feel more in control. Earned value essentials checklist, and it's gonna help you make sure you have things set up properly in P6 so you can do earned value. Let's go to our variance columns to really get a feel for what's going on. And you can see that we've earned a lot, but our planned value is more than what we've earned. So we're lagging a little bit. This is where we're gonna focus on attention to detail. I'm gonna show you how we go through this. I need to put my glasses on. It finished June 13th. So to update that, we're gonna mark it finished. And then we're going to change our finish date here to the 13th of June, making sure that the hour says 1800. P6 has a habit of taking a total value and averaging it out. I'm going to show you how we can solve this problem using financial periods to capture accurate historical values and store them in each period. Okay, so let's go ahead and store. Boom, done. We got a lot of work ahead in this course to understand how to properly update this project and how to deal with all sorts of fun things that are gonna trip us up in progressing. All right, I'll see you in another video.